Hello, Aquarius. It is Milady from Milady's Way Tarot, and I'm coming to do your weekly, no, bi weekly reading for the week of 9 4 through 9 18 2017. The cards I am using today are Oracle of the Mermaid cards by Lucy Cavendish. And I close off with my Miss Cleo cards. I like to read those straight out the book to ensure you get your full message. I want the, mm, okay, so the X's are coming back. I want to thank everybody for like, sharing, subscribing, and setting up personal readings with me. If you want a personal reading, check in the description box below. Email me and we can set something up. Wow, so this person that's coming back to you is somebody that, that left you. So they left you, but now they're coming back, okay? All right, so I think I said check your sun, moon, rising signs. Cleo cards today out the book. Let's get this party started. All right, what's going on for the Aquarius love reading? Aquarius love reading 9, 4 through 18, 2017. Aquarius love reading 9, 4 through 18, 2017. All right, so somebody is making some wise decisions here. Let's see what's about. Ooh. Okay, so it's about either somebody that you used to care about or somebody that cares about you, okay? Okay. So whatever this person is, either you're not attracted to this person anymore or they're not attracted to you. It's not sexually attracted. No sexual attraction here. Okay, so... Uh, this might be a person that you used to care about, but you're not sexually attracted to anymore. Okay, we're just going to go with that. Wow. Okay. This is what's going on. <laughs> Back to the top. Somebody's making a wise decision here. Uh, so it's seeming like this person doesn't want... This person cares about you. And they're sexually attracted to you, but you're not sexually attracted to them and you don't want them, but you want them to open their heart. I don't know. I don't know. You're going to have to tell me what's going on here. I don't know. Maybe you did something mean to them and you still want to be their friend or something, but... Um. Wow. Okay, this makes me feel like you like them chasing you. You like the, the chase. You like being chased. Mm -mm. This could be the other way around also. Okay, so it seems like these are close people to you or maybe these people, this person works with you. But, yes, yeah, somebody like to be chased. It seems like you want somebody to open their heart, but what, why is this a wise decision? What is this wise decision about? Mm. All right, so since saying you see something in this person, what is the visions? What are these visions about for the Aquarius? Mm. Oh my gosh. It seems like you just want to humiliate this person. You just want to uh, make this person feel like less of a person. You want them to chase you around. You love that they care about you and they're sexually attracted to you, but you don't feel this way about them. You want them to open your heart so you can beat it up. But this could be done to you too. All right, what's at the bottom of this thing on deck? All right, so it seems like some kind of secrets. Maybe a secret came out, and that's why you're acting like that. I hope, if not, secrets are getting ready to come out. Mm. All right, Aquarius, Aquarius, Aquarius. All right, wow. So this is somebody is trying to stop a relationship from ending because they um they might be pregnant or they just trying to restart a new relationship. So it seems like this person who getting stomped on might want to restart the relationship, and it seems like the one who is stomping the relationship don't want it to end yet because you want a person to uh, humiliate this person. Okay. All right, what's going on with the Aquarius, 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 nine, four, 
9, 4 through 18, 2017. Love reading for the Aquarius, 9, 4 through 18, 2017. Mm. 9, 4 through 18, 2017. Okay, for some of you, it's money reasons why you're trying to keep this person around, but you're still treating them like crap. Mm -mm. Y'all gotta know, karma goes both ways. Okay. So, some kind of third-party situation, or it might be some kind of celebration. No. Alright, we're just gonna take these. I wanna take one more. Sorry. Mm. So just looking at these, it seems like somebody chose somebody over you in the past or you might have chose somebody else. Somebody chose their ex in the past and it seems like they went on some kind of trip without you and it put you into depression and you start trying to think about stuff. But it's, it's all got to do with exes. And I guess a, a deceitful ex. Okay. All right, let's read these. All right, three of cups, three of cups, three of cups. All right, and it's upright. It says, a problem has been solved and it is now time to celebrate. Enjoy the moment. Favorable outcome is predicted. So it's basically like, I mean, I guess after you found out what was going on, you start playing games, or this might have been happening to you. All right, now we got the two of swords. Two, two, two. All right, the two of swords, a choice between two things may occur. Uh, look for people who offer a re uh, friendship and mutual respect for guidance. So it seems like, oh uh, yeah, that's here. These people, your friends and stuff, they're helping you set this stuff up. Or they're geeking you up to do this. Now, the friends, I think the friends are on the other side. They're, I don't know what the friends are doing. We might have to pull a card for the friends. Let's see what these friends are doing. I think they're trying to protect, but we can see. Where are these friends? Four, nine, eight for the Aquarius. Mm. These friends are trying to protect you. They trying to, okay, yeah, you might be dealing with it, uh, Aries. But these friends are trying to protect you from this situation. They trying to tell you to leave them alone. Or they trying to tell the person who you are doing this to to leave, uh, leave alone. You know, the friends are... Definitely protectors here. All right, so the Knight of Knight of Staffs. Knight of Staffs is reverse. Uh, severing of connections, emotional or physical separation. Yeah, makes sense. You separate yourself emotionally, so you can do this to this person. I don't know why you feel like this person deserves it for some reason. All right, so we got the knight. No, we did. We got the hermit. Hermit, hermit, hermit. It says, a time of being alone, a time away from the world. Look at your life and consider it carefully. Rest and relax and find the answer. Loneliness may occur and betrayal by others may occur. Heal. So it's basically saying, ooh. Like, I don't know what side you on, but you need to take time to, to uh, think about the whole situation, what's going on, so you can heal. Like, if you're the predator or the prey in this situation, it's like, whatever this person did to you, they came out, you need to heal from it and not try to get, you know, revenge. You know, because the revenge is a never-ending cycle, you know, you just leave it for the next person. And it always comes back to bite you in the butt. All right, so next we got the emperor. It says, a person who is not afraid to speak their mind has strong beliefs and does not change their mind easily. Promotion at work, a time for success and advancement, and a great chance to make money, a time of power. 
So this just makes me feel like you're getting ready to take care of, uh, take over the situation or, um, I mean, just basically go inside and, and see what's wrong and, and do something about this. But there is no ending I see to this. But if you guys, I don't know. This is this is uh this is definitely something to think about. <laughs> all right, but that's all I have. Make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising signs if you want a personal reading. Check in the description box below. Other than that, have a wonderful week.